Hey, what's up guys? My name is John and I'm an emergency medicine physician assistant. And I have a very special video for you guys today. We're gonna be talking about physician assistant salaries in each and every specialty. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the top paying physician assistant specialties out there. We're gonna go through each and every single one and I'm gonna share with you guys the median salary and how much the top 10% of PAs are making in their respective specialties. I hope a video like this sheds some light on PA salaries and helps you guys maybe even negotiate a higher salary for your job. Super quickly though guys, please consider subscribing to my channel. This channel is pretty unique. I am mixing physician assistant topics with wealth and finance related topics that interest me. So there's gonna be way more of that type of content on this channel. And also if you could please just take a quick millisecond and hit that like button down below. It really helps the channel out so much. It really helps us get seen by more people on YouTube. So just as a broad overview of physician assistant compensation in the United States, the Bureau of Labor Statistics said that for 2020, the median PA compensation was $115,390, with the lowest 10% of PAs making $76,700, and the highest 10% of PAs earning over $162,000, more or less. What's crazy about the PA compensation is that the median rate for a PA was almost three times the rate of all other occupations in the United States. And by becoming a physician assistant, you are putting yourself into the top five or 10% of income earners in the US for your age group. So it is a really good profession to get into in terms of compensation. I just wanna do a very quick disclaimer because I will be talking about physician assistants in terms of specialty. However, you need to understand that there are other things that affect your compensation as a physician assistant. For instance, if you have more experience, you could be earning anywhere from ten to $60,000 more than some of these numbers that I'm listing. What type of entity are you working for? Are you working for the government? Are you working for a nonprofit or a for-profit institution in a private physician practice or a university or a college? All of these things do matter in terms of your compensation as well. Another big factor is what state that you're practicing in. If you are in a high cost of living state, you should be demanding 10, 20, $30,000 more than some of these numbers because you have to factor in the higher cost of living. So if you are coming in at some of these numbers and you live in any one of these high cost of living areas, you might be getting shortchanged even though your employer is saying, oh yes, we are paying you according to physician assistant compensation rates. You need to understand that if you are a PA working in California, you will be earning 10, 20, $30,000 more than a PA in different areas of the United States. These are all things that you need to factor in to your final compensation. So let's talk about physician assistant compensation by specialty. For family medicine, the median compensation is $111,000 with the highest 10% of PAs in family medicine earning $163,000 or more. For general pediatrics, you're looking at $98,000 a year as the median compensation with $146,000 a year being the upper 10% of PAs. They're earning more than that amount. And an internal medicine physician assistant salary is about $110,000 with the highest 10% being paid $158,000 or more. So that's more or less primary care, but what about the subspecialties for internal medicine? Critical care is the highest subspecialty. The median physician assistant making $124,000 a year, and the highest paid critical care PA is making $175,000 a year. A PA in cardiology will make $115,000 a year, with $150,000 reserved for those in the top 10%. A neurology PA will make $108,000 as the median salary per year, with the highest paid neurology PAs making over $150,000 a year. For endocrine, we're looking at $108,000 a year, with the highest paid endocrine PAs making $160,000 a year. Nephrology PAs are making somewhere around $103,000 a year, the upper limits being $145,000 a year. A pulmonology PA will make $110,000 as the median salary per year, with $139,000 or more in the top 10%. Rheumatology PAs are making $110,000 as their median salary, with the top 10% being 
just under $150,000 a year. An infectious disease PA is hitting $106,000 a year as their median salary with the top 10% of physician assistants in infectious disease pulling $146,000 or more. A hematology oncology PA is making $116,000 a year with those at the top making $148,000 a year or more. A PA specializing in gastroenterology would be making $109,000 a year up to the top 10% starting at $149,000 a year. So what about those surgical subspecialties and surgery? How much are those PAs making? In terms of the highest paid surgical subspecialties as a physician assistant, you're looking at cardiothoracic surgery, neurosurgery, and orthopedic surgery. The median neurosurgical PA is making $122,000 a year, with the top 10% of neurosurge PAs making over $180,000 a year. And I have a feeling these guys are usually doing orthospine or some sort of spine surgery, because that type of stuff pays out really well. Orthopedic surgery, you're looking at the median compensation of $120,000 a year, with the top 10% of ortho surgery PAs making $183,000 a wow. year. And finally guys, cardiothoracic surgery or cardiovascular surgery, those physician assistants are making $140,000 a year as their median salary. The top 10% starts at $203,000 a year. On the lower end of the surgical subspecialties, we have things like ENT, pediatrics, colorectal PAs, and urology PAs, but we're talking about the surgical subspecialties. A vascular surgery PA is making $113,000 to $158,000 where the top 10% are starting at. General surgery is $115 to $158. Plastic surgery is $116 to $158. And bariatric surgery is $115 to $163, starting with the top 10%. A trauma surgery physician assistant the median is $122,000 a year, with the top 10% starting at $155,000 a year. And for transplant surgery PAs, you're looking at $110,000 as the median salary, with the top 10% of transplant surgery PAs making $164,000 a year. How much are PAs making in urgent care and emergency medicine? Those two specialties tend to be higher paying for physician assistants across the board. Urgent care, you're looking at salaries of $116,000 as the median salary, up to $168,000 a year is where the top 10% of urgent care PAs start. And with emergency medicine, the median salary is $124,000 a year with the top 10% of ER PAs making $174,000 or more. Lastly, guys, I'm going to run through all of the other specialties right now. So the top paying specialty outside of all the ones listed is actually dermatology. As a derm PA, you're looking at $129,000 as your median salary. However, the top dermatology PAs are earning $220,000 or more, guys. Usually this is due to things like most surgery or their employers compensating them for outpatient procedures. So if you're able to find an employer that's giving you bonus compensation for the amount of work you're doing and the amount of revenue you're bringing in, then dermatology is one of the most lucrative specialties you could get into as a PA. A women's health or OBGYN physician assistant is making $108,000 a year with the highest 10% making over $143,000. Anesthesiology is making $109,000 per year with $159,000 a year for the highest 10%. An allergy and immunology physician physician assistant is going to be looking at $104,000 a year for median salary with $168,000 being at the upper end of allergy PAs. A PA specializing primary in geriatrics would be looking at $111,000 a year with $158,000 being that upper 10%. A PA doing radiology would be looking at $119,000 a year with the upper limits being about $148,000 per year. Physician assistants that want to get into addiction medicine are looking at $119,000 a year with the top 10% starting at $176,000. Those in pain management were looking at $110,000 to $165,000 being the the start of the top 10%. Physician assistants looking to get into psychiatry, depending on compensation and uh, any type of productivity bonuses, you're looking at $116,000 as the median salary with top 10% earning $180,000 or more as a psych PA. For rehab and physical medicine, you're looking at $114,000 to $150,000 
within the top 10%. For hospice and palliative care, we're looking at $107,000, median to $135,000. At the upper end, for ophthalmology, we're looking at $104,000, with the upper end being $145,000 at where the 10% mark is. For preventative medicine, the AAPA salary report gave us $108,000. However, the upper 10% are earning more than $191,000. Are these people like administrators or getting lucrative government contracts or something i'm not sure why is so much money i couldn't even i couldn't really even tell you why but those were the numbers so traditionally the highest paying specialties to get into as a physician assistant would be something like dermatology cardiothoracic surgery emergency medicine critical care orthopedic surgery neurosurgery and then there are some outliers such as psychiatry or preventative medicine. However, traditionally, those don't pay as well as the ones that I just listed. I want to tell you guys that your salary will once again depend heavily on things like who's employing you and what state you reside in. I also want to say that I know that my YouTube videos focus a lot on salaries and numbers, and I'm not trying to be clickbaity or whatever. There is way more to a job than just a salary. So I don't want you guys to get too caught up on how much money you're making, but also look at things like what type of vacation will you get? What type of other benefits and bonuses will you get? Things like CME, things like sick days, things like retirement planning. Does it have a good workplace environment? Is it the specialty you wanna be in? What else does the job offer? Because there's more to a job than just a salary. So I don't want you guys to get too caught up on the salary numbers. I want you guys to share down below your thoughts and comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a quick like. If you like videos and content like this, guys, subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss out on any future videos. Feel free to check me out on Instagram where I'm sharing posts and stories of the life of a physician assistant. And guys, as always, stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.